they're talking if you lose weight over the long term, yep. 84% of what you lose is breathed out as CO2. Mm. Yep. How did you work that figure out? You said it had never been mm. done before. How how do you find that out? So the, the, the tricky bit about how to, how to figure this answer out is that this stuff called fat is made out of just three elements, carbon, all of which will become carbon dioxide. There's hydrogen in it. So all of the hydrogen, when you break this molecule down, will become water. And there's oxygen, a little bit of oxygen in fat. So that's, that's the three elements your fat is made of. And that's how we know that it only becomes CO2 or H2O. I've only mentioned C's, right. H's and O's there. So that's all of the atoms yep. in the fat are CH's and O's. Okay. That's right. And so we, we know that they the all the carbon has to become CO2, all the hydrogen will become water. The big question is, the riddle that I went off and tried to solve is what happens to the oxygen atoms that are in one of these triglyceride molecules. And here's a beautiful... Do they f- join up with C's or do they join up with H's? Exactly, mm, yeah. And that was not it. that was such a tricky question mm. to answer. In fact, I got on the phone and because I work on Catalyst, um, it, I can pick up the phone and speak to professors. They, they're very happy to answer my calls, which yeah. is just so lucky. Yeah. So, and I really, I, I respect them very much. So I ring them up and I, get, I hit them with this question. I asked three different people and they just thought, N- why are you even bothering asking this question? It doesn't seem that interesting. Um, so I then had to hit the books because no one knew the answer, what happens to these oxygen atoms. And I found the answer, I love this, in a 1949 paper. Wow. From, from way back in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. and Hang on. Was that... Journal started before the word biochemistry existed. No, that's right. Yeah, you're that, kidding. That journal. There was no such word. word. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, what a sense of history. Great stuff, isn't it? And it was this wonderful little experiment they did with mice. They injected these mice with um, water, which they had labelled the oxygen atoms of. So when you label an atom, you can't stick a post-it note to it, obviously. No. So they do. It has a, to be a very small post-it tiny, note if you want it. Size even, of a neutron. Even harder to write. Oh, on so it, yeah. yes. radioactivity. Yeah, or um, just just a, a, an isotope. So it's a bit heavier. So mm. that you chuck two extra neutrons in, and you, now you've got this slightly heavier water molecule than a normal water molecule. So they bang, shove those into these mice, and looked for them in their exhaled breath. Ah, and they turn up in their exhaled breath. Now, how does a oxygen molecule get out of a water uh, oxygen atom? Sorry, get out of a water molecule and onto a carbon dioxide molecule? And the answer to that is it's really simple. Um, carbon dioxide and water, when they're mixed, so dissolve some carbon dioxide gas in water, they bump into each other at huge speeds and they swap molecules, uh, swap atoms. So an oxygen atom from a water molecule gets knocked off and there you go. chucked onto. Have that. It. Yeah, I'll have one of those then. There and back go. the other way. And it, it, it's a two-direction two um, process. But because some of the oxygen atoms looked a little bit different, mm-hmm. you could keep track of where they had gone and what percentage of them had gone across. Yeah, it's just basic math from here. You'll love this bit because um, the, the, the oxygen atoms that they pumped into these mice end up in equilibrium between the carbon dioxide the water, and the carbonic acid that forms. That's how this sort of happens. There's a substance called carbonic acid. It forms when you dissolve um, carbon dioxide in water. Mm -hmm. That's what gives you that prickly feeling when you scull some soft drink. Ah. You know, you get that sort of sensation at the back. Your eyes water a bit and you get that prickly feeling. Mm -hmm. You've got pure carbon dioxide bubbles erupting in your mouth and filling your sinuses up with carbon dioxide, and some of that dissolves into your sinuses, forms carbonic acid, irritates you, and your eyes water. Just as a quick tangent, is it Mm. also carbonic acids the problem with the acidification of the oceans when CO2 in the water in the oceans, those processes happen? It's the byproduct of the carbonic acid that makes shells rot and kills the Great Barrier Reef and that sort of stuff? Precisely, yes, exactly. Okay, Same same chemistry. Back to where we were. Right, so... uh, In the mice, equilibrium. Yep, and from that little one little thing, they weren't solving the question I was looking for the answer to, but they indirectly solved it for me. And so I figured out that if you've got six carbon atoms in one of these molecules of fat, that's how many there are, uh, we know this formula very, very precisely. I'll come back to it. But if we, if you know you've got six oxygen molecules, they'll leave in the same ratio that oxygen exists in carbon dioxide and water, which is two to one. There's two yep. carbons in a... Mm. Uh, oxygens in a carbon dioxide, one in water. And so from that, I could then just go back to the basic high school chemistry of... Um, you learn this in high school, most people forget, but you learn how to balance chemical equations in year 10. It's called stoichiometry. And then you forget it immediately. Um, 
Unless you happen to go on and do more. But so the stoichiometry is interesting. You could have figured this out in 1960 when Jules Hirsch published the fat molecules chemical formula, precise chemical formula for every molecule of fat in your body is um, made of these three elements. And on average, each has 55 carbon atoms, 104 uh, hydrogens and six oxygens. That's your the chemical formula for the fat that you're trying to lose. C55, H10406. That's the average. That's the average right. fat formula. molecule. There's a few that have a couple more. Yeah, they vary. That's just a typical run-of-the-mill yeah, fat molecule. That's one right there. Oh, I got millions of them. Get rid of them. Yeah, boom. Uh, turn them into carbon dioxide and water, and that's that's so uh, yeah. That's what I figured out, and that had never been figured out before. It blows. Wow. I'm pinching myself. If you want to lose weight, so I'm, I'm thinking, okay, if I want to lose weight and I breathe most of it out, so if I just sit here breathing really hard, am I going to lose weight? 